Troglodazone, Resulin, Resulin, Romosin, Noscal, is an anti-diabetic and anti-inflammatory drug, and a member of the drug class of the thiazolidinediones. It was prescribed for patients with diabetes mellitus type 2. It was developed by Daiichi Sankyo, Japan. In the United States, it was introduced and manufactured by Park Davis in the late 1990s, but turned out to be associated with an idiosyncratic reaction leading to drug-induced hepatitis. The FDA medical officer assigned to evaluate troglodazone, John Garigian, did not recommend its approval due to potential high liver toxicity. Park Davis complained to the FDA and Garigian was subsequently removed from his post. A full panel of experts approved it in January 1997. Once the prevalence of adverse liver effects became known, troglodazone was withdrawn from the British market in December 1997, from the United States market in 2000, and from the Japanese market soon afterwards. It did not get approval in the rest of Europe. Mechanism of action Troglodazone, like the other thiazolidine dions, pioglitazone and rosaglitazone, works by activating peroxisome proliferator activated receptors PPARs. Troglodazone is a ligand to both PPAR alpha and, more strongly, PPAR gamma. Troglodazone also contains an alpha tocopheroyl moiety, potentially giving it vitamin E-like activity in addition to its PPAR activation. It has been shown to reduce inflammation. Troglodazone use was associated with a decrease of nuclear factor kappa B, NF kappa B, and a concomitant increase in its inhibitor, I kappa B. NF kappa B is an important cellular transcription regulator for the immune response. History Troglodazone was developed as the first anti-diabetic drug having a mechanism of action involving the enhancement of insulin sensitivity. At the time it was widely believed that such drugs, by addressing the primary metabolic defect associated with type 2 diabetes, would have numerous benefits including avoiding the risk of hypoglycemia associated with insulin and earlier oral anti-diabetic drugs. It was further believed that reducing insulin resistance would potentially reduce the very high rate of cardiovascular disease that is associated with diabetes. Park Davis, Warner Lambert submitted the diabetes drug Resulin for U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA review on July 31, 1996. The medical officer assigned to the review, Dr. John L. Garigian, cited Resulin potential to harm the liver and the heart and he questioned its viability in lowering blood sugar for patients with adult onset diabetes, recommending against the drug's approval. After complaints from the drugmaker, Garigian was removed on November 4, 1996 and his review was purged by the FDA. Garigian and the company had a single meeting, at which Garigian used intemperate Language, the company said its objections were based on inappropriate remarks made by Garigian. Park Davis said at the advisory committee that the risk of liver toxicity was comparable to placebo and that additional data of other studies confirmed this. According to Peter Gacci, when the company provided these additional data one week after approval, they showed a substantially greater risk for liver toxicity. The FDA approved the drug on January 29, 1997, and it appeared in pharmacies in late March. At the time Dr. Solomon Sobel, a director at the FDA, overseeing diabetes drugs, said in a New York Times interview that adverse effects of troglodazone appeared to be rare and relatively mild. Glaxo Wellcome PLC received approval from the British Medicines Control Agency MCA, to market troglodazone, as Romosin, in July 1997. After reports of sudden liver failure in patients receiving the drug, the Park Davis and the FDA added warnings to the drug label requiring monthly monitoring of liver enzyme levels. Glaxo removed troglodazone from the market in Britain on December 1, 1997. Glaxo had licensed the drug from Sankyo Company of Japan and had sold it in Britain from October 1, 1997. On May 17, 1998, a 55-year-old patient named Audrey LaRue Jones died of acute liver failure after taking troglodazone. Importantly, she had been monitored closely by physicians at the National Institutes of Health as a participant in the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases NIDDK, Diabetes Prevention Study. This called into question the efficacy of the monitoring strategy. The NIH responded on June 4 by dropping troglodazone from the study. 
Dr. David J. Graham, an FDA epidemiologist charged with evaluating the drug, warned on March 26, 1999 of the dangers of using it and concluded that patient monitoring was not effective in protecting against liver failure. He estimated that the drug could be linked to over 430 liver failures and that patients incurred 1,200 times greater risk of liver failure when taking Resulin. Dr. Janet B. McGill, an endocrinologist who had assisted in the Warner-Lambert's early clinical testing of Resulin, wrote in a March 1, 2000 letter to Senator Edward M. Kennedy, D. Mass. I believe that the company, deliberately omitted reports of liver toxicity and misrepresented serious adverse events experienced by patients in their clinical studies. On March 21, 2000, the FDA withdrew the drug from the market. Dr. Robert I. Mispin, an FDA medical officer, wrote in a July 3, 2000 letter to the House Energy and Commerce Committee of strong evidence that Resulin could not be used safely, after having been threatened by the FDA with dismissal in March 2000. By that time the drug had been linked to 63 liver failure deaths and had generated sales of more than $2.1 billion for Warner Lambert. The drug cost $1,400 a year per patient in 1998. Pfizer, which had acquired Warner Lambert in February 2000, reported the withdrawal of Resulin cost $136 million. Mechanisms of hepatotoxicity Since the withdrawal in 2000, mechanisms of troglodazone hepatotoxicity have been extensively studied using a variety of in vivo, in vitro and computational methods. These studies have suggested that hepatotoxicity of troglodazone results from a combination of nonmetabolic and metabolic factors. The nonmetabolic toxicity is a complex function of drug protein interactions in the liver and biliary system. Initially, the metabolic toxicity was largely associated with reactive metabolite formation from the thiazolidine dione and chromane rings of troglodazone. Moreover, the formation of quinone and oquinone methyl reactive metabolites were proposed to be formed by metabolic oxidation of the O group of the chromane ring. Detailed quantum chemical analysis of the metabolic pathways for troglodazone has shown that quinone reactive metabolite is generated by oxidation of the O group, but oquinone methyl reactive metabolite is formed by the oxidation of the methyl CH3 groups ortho to the O group of the chromane ring. This understanding has been recently used in the design of novel troglodazone derivatives with antiproliferative activity in breast cancer cell lines. Lawsuits In 2009 Pfizer Inc. resolved all but three of 35,000 claims over its withdrawn diabetes drug Resulin for a total of about $750 million. Pfizer, which acquired rival Wyeth for almost $64 billion, paid about $500 million to settle Resulin cases consolidated in federal court in New York, according to court filings. The company also paid as much as $250 million to resolve state court suits. In 2004, it set aside $955 million to end Resulin cases. References External links Diabetes Monitor article on troglodazone Rx list article on troglodazone